Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through a popular example for frequent pattern mining, guys. So the best example for this is a nothing but a market basket analysis, guys. So basically here, we will be deciding with a particular product, what product will be bought frequently. Like the pair of product, the combo of product, those things we'll be discussing here, guys. Okay. So market basket analysis is a modeling technique based upon the theory that if you buy a certain group of items, you are more likely to buy another item, a group of items or group of items, your group could be bought by someone else also in later. Okay. Yes. So once you are going through the example, you'll be having a clear idea. Guys. Okay. So assume that you came to a shop to buy bread. You saw the butter there. So you thought that, okay, so let us eat some bread and butter at home. So you bought bread as well as butter. And if many people or the many customers are buying the same items in that situation, you can start a sale on those combo, right? So you can sell them in a combo or you can keep both of them at a particular place. So whenever someone comes to buy bread, he will be seeing the butter and he will be buying it. So in that way, so indirectly you will be getting profit based on this, your understanding, right? Yes. So this is a frequent pattern and this concept is nothing but market basket analysis guys. The technique allows the retailer to understand the purchasing behavior of the buyers. Okay. So based on the collected info, store layout of items can be changed. Even some kind of combos can be created guys. Okay. So buy that, get this free double rate, triple rate like that in that way. Right. Yes. So few applications, a few more applications of frequent pattern mining are nothing but predicting a website click streams guys. So assume that our website only is as an example guys. Okay. Okay. So assume that a user will be coming. He'll be entering into the login page. He'll be entering his details. He'll be going to semester six. He'll be downloading the notes. So this is the flow, right? Yes. So in this way, so these are kind of patterns can also be predicted. And based on these things, we can reduce some kind of a burden on the user guys. Okay. Yes. Similarly, mining software bugs can also be done. Okay. Identification of objects. Finding DNA patterns also will be using this guys. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about application of frequent patterns. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through some basic terminology guys. Guys, even if you did not watch up till here or the previous lectures, it is fine. But you should watch from the next lecture guys. Only then you will be understanding the concept of a prairie algorithm guys. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone will be available in the next lecture. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.